This is The Bottom Line. The Bottom Line. On 938 Live. Now... The mobile dating application Pakto has raised over 5 million US dollars in funding over the last 12 months in what the company says is the largest amount for a dating app in Asia. And the fund raising exercise was led by Vertex Venture Holdings, a subsidiary of Singapore's state-owned investment firm Tomasi. According to research from Ibis World, the global dating industry will generate 2.1 billion US dollars in revenue this year. For more on this, 938 Lives, Travis Chiu spoke to Joseph Poir. He is co-founder of Pacto, who says a personal experience drives him to create uh, the app. Pacto means going on a date in either Cantonese or in Hokkien. I was in Chicago when I started the company. At a point in time, I was going through a breakup. And prior to starting the company, I had used multiple dating sites while I was in the U.S. because I was finding it very difficult to get back into the dating scene, especially after a relationship that lasted over eight years. And I looked at the Asian market and I realized that there was a space here that was untapped. Services were bare, not many players in the market, and I felt there was an opportunity here. But there are other dating apps in the market, so what makes you different? Well, when we started, there wasn't any actually. There were all the international players. Uh, that have been around for ages. Uh, web players that move into mobile at a point in time. You have Badoo, you have OkCupid, okay you have Zoosk. And it's not really taken off because these companies have not focused on the local population or solving the local problem. At a point in time, we, I believe, were the only one or two companies that were doing this. Why is there growth in this um, dating app markets, actually? So firstly, obviously, with trends coming in from the West, you see players coming in from the West doing really well in the West. Hence, that often leads to a full-on growth in, in the industry. You've seen the likes of Uber doing very well in the car hailing business. And that translates into uh, multiple other competitors across the world. In Southeast Asia, you have Grab Taxi, you have Easy Taxi. Um, so it's the same in the dating industry as well. Second reason for the rise of dating apps. Our lives are becoming more and more mobile. So it's only natural for things that we naturally do outside of our mobile lives to actually transition into our mobile lives. Are there risks involved for your users as well? And how do you make sure they don't lie about themselves, for example? You cannot, I mean, uh, any service that tells you that you can prevent your users from lying to other users then isn't necessarily reflecting the truth. But what we do, is we, we implement various security measures to ensure that users don't fraudulently try to scam other users. Say, for example, uh, on our application, you need to have a Facebook account to be able to log in. In addition, you need to have at least 50 friends on your Facebook account to be able to create an account on, on Pactor. I understand that uh, Pactor has actually raised over 5 million US dollars in funding. How do you plan to use that proceeds from that fundraising exercise? So firstly, to further fuel our expansion in the region, establish our dominance further in the countries that we're already in, and uh, increase the number of territories that we, we are in. Uh, specifically with Malaysia, we're looking at next quarter, we're going to move into the market. Secondly, we've also introduced a new offline business. It's called Gai Gai, uh, going out in Hokkien and Cantonese again. So Gai Gai is an offline business which provides personal matchmaking one-on-one services to our users, in addition to social network and event for users to mingle. Okay, and finally, for yourself personally, have you used the app and have you uh, found success on it? Uh, yeah, actually, so it's been a year. So Pacto, as I mentioned, our key markets are in Southeast Asia, but we also have a strong presence in Taiwan. While expanding into Taiwan, I actually met my current girlfriend of a year in Taiwan while using my application. That was Joseph Poin, co-founder of mobile dating app Pactor, speaking to Travis Toe on the bottom line, and the bottom line is brought to you by Turkish Airlines, Europe's best airline.